Yeah, I don't even think I've ever practiced this. I'll raise your glasses high. This one's for you tonight. Hey, reality reporters, Christy here. I just got off a very juicy Zoom call with Vanderpump Rules guest star, Kara Patterson. She spilled all the tea on what really went down while they were filming this season's finale, plus what Lisa's like off camera, and the truth about her hookup with Max. Joining me now is a woman who made a big splash last night on the season finale of Vanderpump Rules. Hello, Kara Patterson. Hello, how are you today? Yay! So well, to I'm really amped because VPR is my fave show, and last oh night's finale brought it. Thank goodness yes. that they had you. I was glad to be there. I have mixed feelings about the fact that I brought so much craziness to the scenario, but it's all good fun, right? It is fun, and really, where we first got acquainted with you, it's not like you were a one-hit wonder this season. We saw you twice. First yes. off at the Vanderpump Garden. Yeah. You've been working there for quite a while, right? I actually was part of the opening team. So I was hired originally through Caesars, and they kind of backdoored me and were like, hey, we have a secret spot opening up. It's going to be this Vanderpump Cocktail Garden. We haven't really announced when it's happening yet, but we want you to be a part of it. I'm like, absolutely. Are you kidding me? That's so cool. Well, does Lisa herself come around very often? Because she's really busy All with the, the restaurants time. here, too. Oh, really? Yeah, they're in. So Pandora's in a lot, too. But Lisa's in, I say, at least every three to four weeks. I, most of the time, even two to three. They're in all the time. They're very involved. She'll come in like, oh, that flower's out of place. That wine needs to be there. She's very actively involved. She wants to be part of every T crossed and I dotted. And she has a really hands-on approach, which I love. She's treated me with love and kindness since day one. But she did say the first time I met her, she her jaw dropped and she's like, you're Sheena. So that was, yeah. The first, Lisa's like, you look like Sheena. Our first meeting they were in and I felt so guilty actually because there was a line outside the venue of people waiting to get in. They saw Lisa and Ken. The way our venue oh, set up, sure. you can see inside in the casino, like you can see inside. So people were screaming her name, screaming Ken's name. Then they see me and they're screaming, Sheena! I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I'm going to break these people's hearts when they get to my table <laughs> and they realize, well, she's not, but. <laughs> Well, you know, there's always been so much chatter that there would be some kind of a spinoff, or I think maybe they may even move Vanderpump Rules to Las Vegas. Have you ever filmed a pilot there? So we haven't filmed a pilot yet, but I have been questioned a little bit about my lifestyle, what life is like in Vegas. So we've had the questions rolling. I know that because we are union property and we're partnered with Caesars, I think some of the biggest hurdles for the Vanderpumps and Caesars is just finding like a mutually, you know, mutual agreement between what's going to work. And like, obviously we can't be slinging shots behind the bar. Like, you know, Jax and Ariana could, because we're going to get fired through the union if we do that. So it would have to probably be, you know, still based in the restaurant, but a lot of our drama would have to be outside. What's great about Vegas is I actually have a great group of girls. We um, have had the same core group since the very beginning. We all opened the restaurant together and we put in such long grueling hours that we've really created a really nice bond. Hmm. So a group with a lot of history. Doesn't that yeah. sound familiar? I want to talk about the night that they came in for uh, yes. when they were all there for Katie and Tom's wedding. Yes. Because that night there was some alcohol flowing, right? Did you like go out with them afterward or how After, did you? After, yes. Okay, so with Max? this is funny. So I met Max, you know, minute one. They were just like, hey, go up and ask, you know, what's going on with this table? I saw him and Lisa were there. I'm like, I went up to take their drink order. And obviously like, I kind of felt that something was brewing. I didn't know what the drama was. I remember asking one of the producers, like, behind the scenes, like, hey, what is the deal with him? Why, what's going on? Like, I can feel the energy. Like, they're trying to connect us. He's like, oh, we're not allowed to say. You. Yeah. And they're like, we're not allowed to say. And that's just from, like, not just production, but, like, the, the cast. They were like, oh, Max, Kara, blah, 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 just, like, hinting and flirting. And now looking back at the season, I can understand they were just wanting him to have a good time. And honestly, we did. There was no drama in Vegas. Or do you think they were trying to create the storyline that um, he's hooking up with everyone and he would even go so far as to hook up with someone who looks exactly Maybe like his ex? Enough. Like, you think I they mean, were trying I to push wonder, that? I, I have asked him, were you part of this setup? And he does not admit to it if he was. But for me, it was completely unexpected. So they asked the second night when they came back, the night that you hear him say, I'm going to slip Vegas girl my number, or whatever he says, little rotten brat. Such a brat. But I... um. I told him no. They were like, you need to come out with us after. We're going to Dre's after hours. Let's go out. And I know myself when I drink. And now you guys know me when I drink. Whoo. <laughs> it's okay. I'm like, no, I'm not going 
out. No, 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 no. I'm not doing it. So instead we went to the lobby bar and we ended up having drinks at the lobby bar with Jason and Pandora, me and a few of my coworkers and drinking. So, and we were excited. Like I just came off a high, I got to film at this point, like everything is PG. I'm just excited that I got to be a part of the world. It was exciting. I'd never had an experience like that before. And I was just taking it for what it was. I really had, I had known like two days in advance that I was going to get to take care of them. And I honestly felt like my manager at the time was just choosing me because I, I take pride in my job and I've been serving a long time. I like to give everybody a really energetic fun experience. So if you're in Vegas, come see me. But I, I went to the lobby bar and you see them roll through after I've had like three tequilas. I'm drinking on my glass of wine and there the, the crew runs through. They're like, if you're not going to come to us, we're going to bring the drama to you. So we stayed up till the, the cameras were off at this point, but we hung out with okay. the cast and it was so much fun. It was Tom and Ariana and Katie was there and we were, we were partying. It was great. I had a blast with them. We had so much fun. And I honestly, just like I, I think Max has done an interview about this too. I don't, I can't tell you how, how we got back to that room. I can tell you, I looked on my health app. This is a great tip. If you're ever blacked out and don't know when you stop walking, like when you face plant, look at your steps on your health app. And it will tell you roughly when you like made it to a bed or at least put your phone down. So I still had my phone actually in my hand walking. Yes. At 645 in the morning. So the cameras come through. I wake up to like a tap tap from Max. I'm like, what's going on? He's like, the cameras are coming in two minutes. I'm like, what? The cameras? I, I, I didn't even know that happened. Yes. And mind you, I just wait, I wake up disoriented. I've been asleep like an hour. You know what I mean? I'm like, what do you mean the cameras are coming in? He's like, they're coming in. I was like, so do I leave? And he's like, well, they might get you like doing like a walk of shame. Walk of shame. And at this point I can swear on everything. We had not, nothing had even happened. We were both still fully clothed. Just ironically, I was still in all my work jewelry. I had changed into a little bandeau top and like silky pants. So underneath the bed, I, I couldn't have been more set up crazy, but like I was still fully clothed. And I'm pretty sure he was still wearing the clothes that he had on the night before. Like it was, it was, we had nothing had happened no. when the camera first came in. So, so I okay. I'll let you keep going. So <laughs> Cause I was going to say, like, you didn't, I, you didn't seem too impressed by his prowess when you were talking to Lisa. Well, I had nothing that happened. You know what I mean? I was like, what the hell? Like okay. this, I was honestly, I'll tell you, I was pissed because I felt at that point I hadn't talked to him yet. I felt like he had set me up. Because I didn't know he was going to be a new cast member. I mean, I didn't know Danica. I didn't know him. I didn't know Dana. I didn't, you have to think before this, this is July of last year. I had no idea these new faces were even going to be relevant parts of this season show. So, so you didn't know until the cameras are coming back into the hotel room that they're that, really focused on him. Yeah, like obviously he has a storyline. So after the cameras leave, that's why I said what I said to Lisa. Because I was like, uh-uh, I'm not tired from him. Don't get any, don't get this mixed up. And I wasn't. But when he left, I'm like, all right, so spill the tea. What the hell is going on? And that's when he finally admitted to me that he had hooked up with Sheena. Or no, 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 he hadn't told me that yet. He told me, well, maybe he did. I don't know. It, eventually, after they left is when everything went down. He told me that he hooked up with Sheena. I still didn't know he hooked up with Dana or there was any of this like love square triangle thing going on. Right. And I was just like, oh my God, I was a little annoyed, but I'm always of the mindset of like, you know what? I'm not going to go down for something I didn't do. I better get something good out of this at least. So yeah. we had a little fun. We had a little fun. And honestly, Max is a sweetheart. I think he's a, a doll and he tried really hard to be nice to me after that situation. And I kind of ghosted him and I was like, ah, nah, nope. So. Right. Cause that brings us to you coming to LA for the photo yeah. shoot. How much time had passed? Like two weeks, I think. Two weeks. I'm not three long. Weeks. No, no, no. It was a quick little interim. And like, like I said, we had texted a few times, but it wasn't anything serious. Like I, I was honestly really mad about the way the situation played out. I'm like, well, great. Now I'm going to look like uh, this on TV. Like, I didn't even know I was right. going to be on TV. It was just a lot. You know, I know that everyone's coming at me like I'm the most thirsty girl in the world, but I'm just very like live in the moment and very extra and authentic to myself. And I don't hold anything back. So like, if I'm going to be in a situation, I'm going to be all the way in it. And, you know, for me in Vegas, that's the way I felt. I was like, well, you know, I guess I'm in it now. Here we go. I might as well go. So when they asked me to come do the photo shoot, I'm like, at this point, I might as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, why not? I've already, I already have this, this look about me. Like, I was honestly excited. I was like, well, maybe I can go get some type of a, like, retribution for myself or, like, clear the air and figure out what's going on. But it was just so stressful from, like, the minute I walked in because the first thing I'm told after seeing him and seeing meeting Sheena for the first time, he's like, oh, and you're the fifth 
one he slept with here. Welcome to the Eskimo sister pack. I'm like, oh my God. And I could wow. sense his anxiety and I felt so guilty because had I known that there was such a history and a connection between everybody, I definitely would have given him a heads up. of like, hey, I'm coming to town. Like, I'm not trying to do anybody wrong or dirty. I just was told by production not to tell anyone I was coming. Oh, interesting. So how did the cast react when they saw you there then? Because they know you and yeah, I know them to be very protective. Like they're not open to new people coming around, maybe trying to take up some camera time. So no, were they, no, kind? they were honestly super nice to me. Like the only OG member that I quote unquote had any tip with it, at least that I can remember that night was just that little Kristen spiff that I had with Danica. But I have like such a guilty conscience when I fight with people that I was like, then I was following Kristen around all night telling her I was sorry. Like I just, I hate oh upsetting people and like rocking the boat and I hate confrontation. So it, I look back at that scene whenever you see Danica and I beefing and like, I know I'm hanging over Stassi's shoulder all crazy. And I look, I'm, I'm hammered. I mean, I'll admit to you guys, like I, did, I drank way too much. I was over my limit. And I think it's just cause I was so anxious. You know, I'm in this new We've setting. I don't all know. all been there. Yeah, I didn't know anybody there. And like all the cast is like, let's do shots. I'm like, hell yeah, let's do it. And then, you know, after a few too many social so shots, you're hammered. Was production encouraging you to drink at all? Like, did they hand you no, one right when you the No, not that I remember. Door? Not at all. They didn't need to encourage us. Like, mm -hmm. when you are doing tequila shots with Katie and Brittany and, you know, the, the boys are throwing back shots. I've got wine in one hand. It was just, they're a fun group. Like, they're party animals. Yeah. And I just was, like, thrown in. And I'm like, let's do it. You know, but uh, I need to, like, warm up my liver and, like, do, like, some workouts before I'm ever around that crew again because they're <laughs> awesome. Well, I did obviously you have could not hang. Did you have any issues with Danica earlier in the day? Like, had you had any tiffs with her or? She was kind of like cold and snappy towards me because I loved her little jumpsuit. Her jumpsuit reminds me a lot of the ones we wear for work. So I didn't know who she was. So I was like, oh my God, you look so beautiful. Like what uniform is your, um, what part, what restaurant is your uniform from? And she's like, hmm, it's a manager restaurant. I'm a manager. Just like her little snooty bullshit. So I'm like, okay, sis, whatever. I see you. And, like, looking back at how she treats people now, like, I can kind of see it. But, like, in that scene, even when she comes up to me, there was a lot of things that they didn't air. You know, they pick and choose what clicks and what parts of the conversation they air. So, like, at one point, I asked her straight up. I was like, why don't you like me? Like, why are you being mean to me? And she's like, you're trying to, you're not, you're relevant, irrelevant. Who are you? Like, why are you trying to come up and hang on, hang on the OG cast members? Like, who are you? Take your place. So then I'm like, then why did you come up here and talk to me if you don't like me? And that's when she says, like, oh, well, I've been watching you over here, you know, intervening in their conversation. And right. I'm like, well, I'm glad you were sitting over there watching me because that's where you should be. Because in my that opinion. Was, that was good. I wouldn't want to tangle with Dana because she's a little scary. When you said that, I was like, wow, okay. No, I'm scared of no one. <laughs> well, something that, you know, people don't know about me. The reason I'm in Vegas, I was in an engagement that was super abusive physically. Oh. So the reason I look back, it was honestly after that night filming I was so triggered for like weeks like I was I it was sick because of this night in Hollywood because I mean when I say this man would like push me up against a wall and hold my hold me by the throat and will look at me in my eyes that devil smile that I gave her is the same one I would give him so whenever anyone presses me in a way that's aggressive or when I see confrontation going down my self-defense mechanism is to try to diffuse it so even like when I'm over there talking to Stassi and Sheena it's like I see Sheena getting picked on so I'm like let's not fight. Let's get along. Like, I just want everyone to have fun and, you know, be lighthearted and have a good time. We had had so much fun in Vegas that like, there were so many dramatic scenes being shot in West Hollywood that I was so drunk. Like I just couldn't handle it. Like it was too much like negative energy. So then when Danica started picking on me, like I can see that that's the way like I used to handle him. Like I'm not going to lash out at you. And I know it pissed her off just like it pissed him off. Like when you have that abusive mentality where you have to like berate people or you want to get a reaction from people and they don't give it to you it almost makes you like more angry and I could see that in her and I, I didn't know that after like I had woke up the next day I just felt icky inside but I didn't know why and then re-watching this episode like I understand why I felt so triggered because it triggered me even just to watch it back just because wow. of my past and that's nothing that's Danica's responsibility or anything but it's just like we all have pasts and it's no one's place to go and like poke people's wounds or like insert that themselves into situations that they're not a part of. In my opinion, I feel like Stassi is a little tiger shark herself and could have easily swatted me away like a little fly at that time. I was just trying to have fun. So 
I would have had no problem if any of the girls involved in that initial conversation would have had something to say to me. Or even if Danica had come up to me and said, hey, like, you're making yourself look crazy. Like, you're drunk. Right. Like, come over here with me. And been sweet about it. But I felt like it was, like, conniving and that she was pissed off that she wasn't involved. So she had to find a way to make herself involved. And it's mm -hmm. like, why say you're going to stop drama and then create more? Because the way that she was talking to me in that conversation we had was not nice. And it wasn't her trying to diffuse anything. And she's, at that point, was not best friends with any of the girls involved. Wow. And it, it's so self-aware of you to acknowledge that your past played a part in your behavior that night. And I, I certainly hope that you are free and safe from that situation. I, I feel I am. I've been away three years. And honestly, it's been a journey and it still is. I mean, anybody who's been in any type of abusive situation, whether it's, you know, domestic or with your family or friends and whether it's verbal or emotional or physical, it doesn't matter. Like I encourage everyone to get away. And honestly, like I know a lot of people have things to say about me and my reasoning for being the way I am on the show or being this or that. But like I said, like I lived in a shell and in a hole for so long that I will never put myself back there. I will always, you know, you're always going to be to this or to that for someone, mm -hmm. you know, reality TV, it's too boring. You're too thirsty. And I'm always going to go over here because I don't want to be inside a bubble anymore. No one's going to tell me I can't act a certain way. Like I think sometimes I go over the top on the opposite direction just to like validate my freedom. And that is something I'm working on. But like the way that the drama went down was just, it was nuts. Like I, I feel badly, obviously for Stassi and like for trying to involve myself in the scene. But like for me, reality TV, I always looked at it like reality TV is reality. So like, what are scenes? You know what I mean? I don't know how to film reality TV at this point. They had all been doing it the whole season. So are you trying to stay in touch with any of the cast or have you talked I mean, to anybody? Sheena and I are friends. So Sheena and I hang out anytime she's in Vegas. So I'm friendly with her. And then I have Katie on my Instagram and Charlie and I just became friends. And Max and I like flirt via Instagram once in a while. He's, mm. <laughs> he's cute, but I, I'm very weird about really any type of like relationship with men or like, even like hooking up. Like I keep everybody at like very firm arm's length. So well, and maybe now that you've concerned. seen how Max behaved throughout the season, are you a little <laughs> turned off? Sorry. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not necessarily like turned off by what was shown in the season after seeing, you know, I mean, especially cause I knew it was coming for me. I feel like editing goes into a lot. Obviously I feel like the dynamic between him and Dana and Brett was messed up, but I can see every single person's perspective on it. Like I can see why Dana would be upset at times. I can also see why Brett would be upset at times. I can see, well, not really Brett. Brett has no reason to be upset. But Max, like, I think Max, looking back on it, really did care about her. And it's almost like that song, like, I Should Have Cheated by Keisha Cole. Like, he wasn't doing anything wrong, but Danica was in his ear saying that he was. So it's like, I can get all these bitches. Why am I sitting over here being a good boy if you're just going to come over and berate me and act like I'm doing something wrong all the time? Like, I might as well go do it. And I feel like that is another example of Danica putting her nose where it doesn't belong. And who knows what would have happened between him and Dana had she not gotten herself involved. So like, I know she wants to play this, the Danica wants to play like she's this shark that has her, the, the best interest of everyone at heart. But I don't see that. I think that I see myself in Danica and the fact that I think she's in a toxic relationship. And when you're in a toxic relationship, you don't want anybody else to be happy either. And you don't feel like you can be yourself and be open to being yourself or loving yourself. So you lash out at people around you. And I, mm -hmm. I see that in her and the fact that she got into a physical altercation with her, her ex-boyfriend or her boy boyfriend. Now, I don't know what they are. He was saying the most disgusting sexually, like insinuative comments about me on my um, Instagram. And it was, it was gross. Like, he's just a gross person. I have nothing, like, I don't believe in men attacking women like that. And the things that he was saying so about- So he, he wasn't stuff. hitting on you. Not he hitting on you. He was saying nasty sexualized comments, like referring to me in sexually degrading ways. And Danica was participating in the conversation and liking the comments and commenting back. And then when I called her out on it, all of a sudden it was like, oh no, backpedal. I didn't do anything wrong. It was him and I'm sorry. Like, no. And no. that's the other Brett who also works. Yes, the other Brett. Sure, so, right? Yeah, the other Brett. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not here for this. Like, I'm not going to participate in your games. Like, I see through you. I see who you are. And I think I saw who you were that first minute of that first day. 
I'm an energy reader. I know energy. I see people for who they are. I love people. I want to believe the best. And I'm always here to support others, but I have no room for evil or nasty. And like the way that she's conducted herself is not healthy. And she needs to get out of that toxic relationship and get a, a handle on herself, in my opinion. The first time she shoved me was not on camera. So I don't know if there was two shoves, but the first shove was not hot. And it, it was bad. I just walked away and they're like, what's going on? Like, what, what's your beef? And I'm like, I don't know why she doesn't like me. You know, so yeah. it was, it got really like aggressive. And like, there was a lot of stuff going on. A lot of films being seen at once, scenes being filmed at once. So there was a lot missed. And I mean, there's stuff that I'm sure I did that didn't look good either. At that point, I was fully pissed off and I was going full crazy mode and I wanted to get a reaction out of her. I was like, all right, you, you start the fight and I'll finish it. I want you, I won't be happy until you're gone. Like, I want you to, at this point, if you're going to come at me like that, it's just what, like, I've done this so many times with, when you're in a toxic situation, it's like, I'm not going to fight fire with fire in this situation. I'm just going to sit here because you're so angry that nothing I say is going to make this better. I'm, but I'm going to try to just piss you off and get you more mad. So what happened after she was kicked out? We honestly just, we just had fun. I mean, I got, I was still drinking. I, I probably should have gone home right away. We went to like a bar and then another bar went to like two bars. I was so drunk. I think I almost didn't even get into one of the bars. They had to like pull like a VPR like cash. She's with us. It's okay. Especially here to get me in. But I mean, honestly, I, I, I didn't have anything negative to say about, you know, anybody at all, even including Danica until I saw like these comments that she had with her and Brett. Like I, I would have been perfectly happy just to leave things where they were. But at this point, like, I feel like she's coming for me so hard and now she's involved Dana in it and they're saying some really nasty things about me and dragging me. And I'm like, well, gloves off. Like, I'm not trying to gain anything from this except to expose, you know, reality to people so that they can learn and grow from it. That's what reality shows are supposed to be. You're supposed to be entertained by them, but then also hopefully be able to pull something from them that inspires or encourages you. And like my story that I have to share would never fit in along the lines of those, those women acting like that. Like what my message that I want to share does not belong in that, in that realm, if that's the way they're going to conduct themselves, because I promote positivity and love and women's empowerment and women empowering women. And the way I was treated was not women empowering women. And it was, I, I don't agree with, with the way that things were conducted, but you know what? I also mm -hmm. agreed to go into this situation without really asking too many questions. And I signed up for it. So, you know, I, I like think they're, they think I'm like thirsty for this show. Like I have some idea of the role I'm going to play in it. And I have no expectations. I know that the universe is going to give me what's meant for me. Whatever platform I'm supposed to have to share the messages that I have, it will come to me. So the last conversation that Danik and I had, like Caddy over, you know, Instagram, I told her the same thing. I'm like, listen, when you live your life the way I do, karma is your best friend. And when you live your life the way you do, you're always running from it. So put on your running shoes, sweetie. Put on your running shoes, sweetie. Ooh.